Now, South Africa's substance abuse and addiction crisis is spiraling out of control. A new drug craze called pink cocaine has hit the Cape Flats. For more on this, we're joined by anti-drug activists Alvino January and Donovan Mini to speak on the scourge of drugs in our communities. Gentlemen, good morning to you. Uh, thank you for joining us on the final day of the year to talk about something that is busy destroying a lot of lives. I want to start by just helping our viewers understand what your history uh, with drug abuse is. Let's perhaps start with you, Donovan. Good morning, viewers. My name is Donovan Mini. I'm a recovering drug addict. I was addicted to crystal meth for 12 years of my life, and I'm currently five years clean and sober. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, Donovan and yourself, Alvino? Good morning, Jenna. Good morning to the viewers. Uh, my name is Alvino January. I'm an ex-drug addict and an ex-gang member. I was addicted to crystal meth and Mandrax for 13 years of my life, but I'm currently five years clean and sober now. That's amazing. And the two of you are, are also friends and, of course, co-founders of uh, Men of War. Talk to me, uh, Donovan, why it was so important to you to start an organization that actually addressed drug abuse in our communities. Jenna, when we were in addiction, there were certain factors that benefited us in addiction. And there were certain things that drove us to addiction. And there, if there were certain things in our lives present, we wouldn't have gone that route. So we thought to ourselves that we find a way to be of help to the next suffering Eric and be the help that we once needed when we were in addiction. So we found the organization Men of All and we started reaching out by helping Eric's. At first we didn't have, have a rehabilitation center. We started taking people to government rehabs and driving them with taxis and so on. And we did great jobs and helping them getting off of drugs. And by then we started raising com in communities. We started having support groups where we could reach out to them and create an environment where they can open the address their addiction.